Okay, everybody. Now, I did want to go live um, right now, but I can't um, because I have someone that's on the way over here, so I can't do it now. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and do a pre-record. Okay, so here it is. And I just want to say... Okay, it's a few people out, so, okay. But anyway, guys, I just want to say that, you know, some people go overboard, you know, when, um, you know, when I ask for, I'm going to say feedback or, or ask, what would you guys do? Like I did in the video yesterday. And I say that because... Some people go to the extreme and, you know, you, you end up getting things that, you know, you don't want, like getting blocked, you know, and you really bring that on yourself. And I say that because let me give you some examples of what I mean by um, going overboard. But first, first, I just want to say shout out to... Um, I, and I want to get her name right. I'm going to say, um, Sh Shamia, Shamema. Let me just, let me look at it. Okay. Her name is spelled S-H-A-M-E-M-A. Shamema. Okay. Shama. Okay, Burke. If I said that wrong, I apologize. But it got shame, Shema, 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 Burke. Okay, but shout out to her because what she said, her advice, her feedback was actually very, very helpful. Okay, it was useful, it was helpful. She wasn't just saying something, okay? She wasn't just talking, you know, out the side of her neck. What she told me, okay, her email was actually very helpful, okay? And I say that because the information that she sent me in the email yesterday, okay, it was about a, a property management uh, company here that accept people that have evictions, okay? She mentioned that her sister was living um, uh, in a unit that was managed by uh, these this property management team. So I called them. Ooh, that's a fat ass squirrel. Ooh, don't look over here, huh? don't come over here. But anyway, I called and I talked to someone from there this morning and th first off i've read the reviews i did google the place and you know the reviews were good overall i'm gonna say overall and i say this because there were a few bad ones guys this this world tripping y'all i don't like the way he looking at me okay Shit, he, he he act like he he part of, uh, of the audience, y'all. I swear he do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like he look, y'all. He act like he he trying to listen. Look at him, y'all. Look. Do y'all not see him acting like he? <laughs> do y'all not see him just sitting there when he can just go on and get in the tree, y'all? And he just sitting there like he listening to me, y'all. <laughs> he could have been jumped in the tree. He's so nosy. Y'all see that? <laughs> but anyway, he, he made me lose my train of thought. But anyway, I just want to say this. I read the reviews on um, Cooper uh, Properties. And it was a lot of reviews, but most of the reviews, they were really good. And it was a few bad ones, but most of them were good. And I was just really, really glad about that. So today I called and I talked to someone. I don't know who it was. He was very nice though. Put me on hold for a real long time though. I hung up. I didn't talk to anybody. 
but he did say that they did accept people who had um, you know evictions um, and and he said as long as you know uh, the, the person you know was honest with them so I thought that was pretty cool so that's fine um, but I did hang up I got a call from somebody else uh, I'm not gonna go into that right now uh, I'm not gonna discuss that option but back to that uh, yeah her information was valid it was useful so this afternoon I did call back um, and I talked to a woman there and she said that I could come and you know if I wanted to tomorrow you know make an appointment with one of the, uh, the leasing um, people there and I'm coming to the office to do that so I'm gonna do that tomorrow you know because I do like to have options and it's nice to know that even though I'm in the situation that I'm in guys or almost in that I still can have some options so that's that's really good and I'm, I'm really glad that I do have some options still so I'm gonna be meeting with uh, I forgot her name I think she's saying Jessica tomorrow and that's good so all I'm gonna say is this thank you I appreciate that type of uh, useful help okay because that was that was positive and constructive whoa oh there's a lot going on over here y'all things dropping from the tree and trees and stuff lord have mercy anyway y'all this is very distracting but anyway, thank you for that um, that email, and thank you for telling me about the, the property uh, management um, company. I really appreciate that. Now, back to the people that I'm talking about that go overboard, okay? People that say things like, go back to Milwaukee. Um, you don't know me, you know, obviously. You really just wanna just have something to say. All you're gonna do is find yourself blocked, okay? is that y'all I'm gonna hurry up and finish this fucking video because I am under this tree oh lord um damn anywho just somebody sent me and don't get me wrong just because people are in sensitive situations and not just dealing with evictions but just period it can be another type of situation you know you never know what it could be it could be anything but just because people may be in sensitive situations does not mean that they are you know um desperate or um like they just need help so bad or you know like their back is up against the wall or you know uh you know like they just you know that <laughs> listen and maybe that is the case for some people but my case is not like that okay and I need to make that very clear okay I think some people are just really just really just doing too much y'all need to clearly stop okay or maybe just making y'all feel some type of way to just say the shit I don't know maybe but it, yeah y'all can stop you know cause I'm gonna be honest I don't even know who the hell y'all are a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all just, just, you know, off the wall people. I never saw y'all names before, you know, and that's how I know y'all don't know me. And I, I don't know y'all. So, you know, y'all just coming in saying shit, okay? Uh, some lady sent me an email uh, telling, she sent me her daughter's information. You know who you are. Uh, her daughter's a real estate person. And, and I kindly sent the email back and said, you know, I'll become my own real estate person. Y'all know for the people that watched the video where I'm clearly saying that, you know, that's the interest that I'm, you know, may have in, in my near future going to real estate school. I mean, I, I sent the, you know, I told that lady that, you know, what's wrong with that? You know, she sent me an email back saying, you know, I asked for, you know, their, everybody's help and, you know, how I needed help and, you know, I had to email the lady back and say, I don't need shit. And that first off, you needed to really watch that video because I was asking people if they would spend $6,000 for an apartment. 
that's what the video was about. I was asking people that. So I told that lady to go back and rewatch the video. That's what I asked her to do. Wow. And that's what I mean by doing extra and not really paying attention to the details, but just talking and all that shit. And really just doing extra shit that they don't have to do. You know, that's overboard to me. Those are the examples of overboard. Stop. You gotta do it. You, you really don't. Because at the end of the day, I, I'm still gonna be chill. No matter what. No matter what. No matter who, no matter what, no matter where, I'm still going to be chill. I, I just am. And see, one thing about it, you don't know if I got a resource from somebody else. You don't know that. So you don't know if I'm okay or not. So how could you legitimately send me an email or, or anything telling me what I need? when you clearly don't know what the fuck I need. So, <laughs> that's what makes it so invalid. So, okay, I'm okay, and I, I just hope that you're okay. Because, you know, don't get bothered by something that you shouldn't. Just really watch the video and pay attention. And, you know, then maybe you could understand a lot better before you sin foolish emails you know because i can't keep going back and forth i'm done in this video and that's it okay um yeah that's that's pretty much it you know all i had to say you know don't people out there if you're going to try to help somebody you know give them some give them some sound advice you know give them some advice that they could use don't don't um oh this is another thing people are sending links and stuff to uh apartments and <laughs> I, I, I have uh apartments.com you know I, I have the app uh finding apartments is not really the issue uh people the issue is an eviction that's that's the issue. So sending links, look, I'm that damn squirrel. I'm gonna go. Uh, that would be the issue. That would be the issue. So sending links, not really it. But thank you. Yeah, I got apartments.com though. I have the app. Yeah. But thank you. Uh, you guys, I think I got it though. I think I got it covered. I do appreciate the people that I'm gone by y'all. This this video over because this motherfucker squirrel. Look at that. Uh uh uh. I'm good. I'm up. He looking. He looking at me. I'm up. Uh, uh, okay. Bye. Mm -hmm. He doing too much. Now he's just, okay. Dang y'all. You can jump in the tree. It's too much wildlife, y'all. <laughs> Anyway, y'all, you know, for the people that really tried, like, um, Sham, Shama, Shama, Shamia, Burke, shout out to you because, like I said, your lead, your email, your resource was valid. Okay. Um, like I said, I'm, I'll be going tomorrow to see them, so thank you. God bless.